हेलो गाइस वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेबीआर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो हेलो एवरीवन नाउ वन सेकंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेबीआर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट चैप्टर टेस्ट फ्रॉम द चैप्टर हाइट्स एंड डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द बुक ऑफ एम एल अगरवाल फॉर द अदर चैप्टर Please visit our website. The website link is in your description box. Okay, so here the first problem: the angle of elevation of the top of a tower from a point A that is 30 degree. Okay, angle of elevation. So suppose this one is the base, and here it's point A. So the angle of elevation from point A to the top of the tower. This one equal to 30 degree. This angle equal to 30 degree. So definitely this one BC is the tower. Okay, here BC is the tower. On walking 50 meter towards the tower, the angle of elevation is found to be 60 degree. So walking towards the tower that means from A to B. So here suppose this one is the second position. so from this point and suppose this one d here the angle of elevation equal to 60 degree so first one 30 degree second one 60 degree calculate the height of the tower that means you have to find out the height of bc and the distance of the tower from a now here da equal to 50 meter because on walking 50 meter towards the tower so here ad Or D A equal to 50 meter. So from the triangle, the first triangle, the bigger one, it's A B C, and from this triangle, here height by base, or perpendicular by base, that means B C equal B C by B A equal to 10 30 degree, and the value of 10 30 it's root 3. Okay, so here B C equal to B A by root three. Now, from the next triangle, triangle B C D. In that case, here B C by B D again perpendicular by base. That one equal to ten sixty degree, and that one equal to root three. So here B C equal to B D root three. Okay, B C equal to B D root three. So from the first one, B C equal to B A by root three. From the second one, BC equal to BD by root three. Sorry, BD into root three. So, if we equal this to, so here we can write down BA by root three equal to BD root three. That means BA equal to BD root three into root three. So it will be three BD, three BD because root three into root three. That means only three. Now. As here AB, okay, AB or BA. BA equal to we can also write down BD plus DA, and in that case here DA equal to 50. So instead of BA, you can write down BD plus 50. That one equal to 3 BD. So here 50 equal to 2 BD, and here BD equal to 25. So if BD equal to 25, and here you have BC equal to BD root 3, so BC equal to 25 root 3. That means 25 into the value of root 3, it's 1.732. So if you multiply with 25, it will be 43.3. Okay, 43.3. that is your first answer that means the height of the tower now next one the distance of the tower from a that means bd plus ad so here bd equal to 25 plus ad ad equal to here 50 so your second answer is 75 meter bd plus here ad okay BD plus AD that will equal to seventy five. Now next one sum number two. 
An aeroplane 3000 meter high passes vertically above another aeroplane at an instant when the angle of elevation of two aeroplanes from the same point on the ground are 60 degree and 45 degree respectively. Okay. Find the vertical distance between these two aeroplanes. So suppose this is the height, it's the base. Suppose here A, A is the first aeroplane and here B is the second aeroplane. Okay, A is the position of the first aeroplane and B is the position of the second aeroplane. And here this point suppose C and this one here D. Okay, D is a point on the ground. Okay, I repeat A is the first aeroplane, B is the second aeroplane and D is the point on the ground. Now here from D, the angle of elevation and angle of elevation also point B. So here this one equal to 45 degree and this angle equal to 60 degree. That means for the first aeroplane angle of elevation equal to 60 degree. For the second aeroplane angle of elevation equal to 45 degree. Okay. Here the total height that means AC equal to 3000. An aeroplane 3000 meter high passes vertically above another aeroplane in an instant when the angle of elevation are 60 and 45. Okay. So, here for the triangle BCD, the smaller one. In this triangle, here BC is the height and CD is the base. So, perpendicular by base equal to 1045. That means 1. So, BC equal to CD. Okay. BC equal to CD. Now, from the next one, triangle ACD, the whole one. Here, AC perpendicular by base equal to 1060 degree. 1060 means root 3. So, AC equal to here CD into root 3. As you know that AC equal to 3000. So, here CD equal to 3000 by root 3. If you multiply root 3 up and down, so it will be at 3. So here 3 cancel out this one. So here 1000 root 3 is the value of CD. Okay. 1000 root 3 is the value of CD. Now what is 1000 root 3? CD means here the distance between the point and the aeroplane. Okay. So here you have to find out, find the vertical distance between two planes. That means here you have to find out the value of AB. So as here CD equal to 1000 root 3, then definitely BC equal to also 1000 root 3. And if you want to find out the value of AB, so AB means AC minus BC. AC minus BC. AC equal to here 3000 and BC equal to here 1000 root 3. Okay. So here 3000 minus 1000 into 1.732 okay 1000 into 1.732 so it will be here 3000 minus 1732 and your final answer 1268 meter okay your final answer 1268 meter next one number 3 a 7 meter long flagstaff is fixed on the top of a tower Okay, so suppose this one is the tower and here this one is the flag step. From a point on the ground, the angle of elevation of the top and the bottom of the flag step are 45 degree and 36 degree respectively. Okay, suppose this is a point. So angle of elevation, the bottom of the flag step and the top of the flag step also both. So here the smaller one equal to 36 degree, the greater one equal to 45 degree. Here AB is the flag, BC is the tower and D is the point on the ground. Then find the height of the tower correct to one place of decimal. Find the height of the tower that means here you have to find out the length or the height of BC. Okay. 
so here from the triangle the greater one acd here ac by cd perpendicular by base equal to tan 45 degree that means 1 so ac equal to cd for the next triangle bcd here the perpendicular bc by cd equal to tan 36 degree okay tan 36 degree the value of 36 from your log book it's 7265 okay so here we can write down here bc equal to cd into 0 0.7265 okay bc equal to cd into 0 0.7265 now from the first one as here ac equal to cd so in the place of ac we can write down ab plus bc that one equal to cd the value of AB equal to 7 because 7 meter long flag step. So, 7 plus in the place of BC, we can write down CD into 0 0.7265, that one equal to CD. Okay. So, here 7 equal to CD minus CD into 0 0.7265. If CD will be common, so 1 minus 0 0.7265. Okay. 1 minus 0 0.7265 so cd into 0 0.2735 that one equal to 7 so cd equal to 7 by 0 0.2735 okay so that one equal to here 25.59 so as cd equal to 25.59 that means ac equal to also 25.59 because AC and CD are equal. So now you have to find out BC. BC means here the whole AC minus AB. AB here 7. So if you subtract 7 from 25.59, your answer is 18.59. Okay, your answer is 18.59. Next one, sum number 4. A boy 1.6 meter tall is 20 meter away from a tower and observes that the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 60 degree. Okay. So, suppose this one here is the height of the boy. This is the ground and here this one is the tower. So, that means it's 1.6. Okay. Now, it's 20 meter away. So, this one is 20 meter. And the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 60 degree. So, here this one and first you have to draw a parallel line with the ground. So, this angle equal to angle of elevation that means 60 degree. So, here A, B is the position of the boy. C, D is the position of the tower. And suppose this point is E. So, if A, B equal to 1.6 then E, D equal to also 1.6 because A, E and B, D are parallel. That means here AE equal to also 20 meter. Now you have a triangle from the triangle ACE in this triangle. Triangle AC, AC and E. Okay. You have to find out the height of the tower. So from the triangle ACE, first you have to find out the height of CE. So here CE is the perpendicular. So CE by base means AE that one equal to 10 60 degree it's a very easy problem so it's root 3 then ce equal to 20 root 3 okay ce equal to 20 root 3 so 20 root 3 means 20 into 1.732 and that one equal to here 34.64 okay that one equal to here 34.64 now here the height of the tower is CD. So, CD means CE plus ED. ED means 1.6. So, your final answer here 36.24. Okay. Your final answer 36.24. Now, the last one for this video. So, guys, if you like my video, please, please share this video and please subscribe my channel. So, here some number 5. A boy 1.54 meter tall can just see the sun over a world 3.64 meter high which is 2.1 meter away from him so here again ab is the position of the boy 
here this is the ground so it's 1.54 okay and 1.54 tall can just see the sun over a wall that is 3.64 okay 3.64 so here cd is the wall that is 3.64 now the angle of elevation you have to find out this angle of elevation that means find, suppose this one is a theta so ab is the position of the boy de is parallel to ab so definitely ed equal to 1.4 as here cd equal to 3.64 that means ce so ce equal to 3.64 minus 1.54 okay so ce this one ce equal to here 2.1 if you subtract 1.54 from 3.64 it will be 2.1 so from the triangle ACE in this triangle, oh, once again, here BD is 2.1, okay, BD is 2.1, so definitely AE equal to also 2.1. So from the triangle ACE, CE by AE equal to 10 theta and C equal to 2.1, E 2.1, that one equal to 10 theta, so 10 theta equal to 1, that means 10 45 degree so theta equal to 45 degree